Before we get into the video, make sure y'all like, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not sub to me by now, my content is fire for chats from his news videos, stem motions, tour reviews, tour photography breakdowns, music occasionally. My Instagram is linked down below. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so got a lot of Rise of the Beast info to talk about today. Uh, I was I originally compiled a bunch of Instagram posts for this one, but then I saw that TFW posted it, and it was like, wow, this is so much more easy. I'm just gonna do this. So anyway, um, Taranga, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Zoo Sydney promotional campaign. We have some banners and merchandise here for Rise of the Beast. They uh, have a video here that I'm gonna play. And that was just the Autobot and Maximal logo with some shrubs. And then the Rise of the Beast logo itself for the movie. And then we have some promotional images. We have uh, new CG renders, which is very nice, of Cheetor, Primal, Optimus, and B. Cheetor looking cool. Cheetor is definitely my favorite design so far from this movie. Uh, he just looks so menacing and fierce like an actual robotic cheetah would be. And then Primal looks cool, Optimus, and then Bumblebee. We've already seen those CG renders before for these three, but I think Cheetor is the new one, which is pretty cool. And um, then there's a bigger image of the same one, just minus Cheetor, which is cool. And then there, there's the Rise of the Beast logo. Then there's Primal and Optimus. Oh, wow. This is so cool to see in live action, finally, after all these years. Seeing it in different media, like cartoons and comics. And now we're finally seeing these two together in live action. Mm, just a cherry on top right there. Delicious. And then we have some uh, like promotional magazines from the zoo itself. Beast power. More than meets the eye. <laughs> and then there's like... Word puzzles with Cybertronian logos with uh, with uh, human letters. And then it says here, who dares to take up this challenge? Okay, it's just explaining what the game was. I thought there was maybe some plot details or something. Then there's some other type of game. It looks like, I don't know, I'm not into app games. So uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, Pokemon Go. That, that, that was like the first thing that comes to mind. And then, oh, there's a new CG render of Cheetor right here. He's, like, standing upright. He's not in, like, an action stance, so he looks pretty cool. He's got, like, orangish-red eyes, which makes him look even more, like, uh, menacing, which is cool. Loki wish he still had blue eyes, considering he's a maximal. And then lastly, this is the bigger news of the video here. We have some junior novelizations announced, uh, and then there's some plot details for the movie. Now, usually with these junior novelizations, they're based off of earlier scripts of the movie, and they're and it's not the most recent cut of the film. So um, a lot of it is based, in fact, of what's actually going to happen, but then I'd say... 50-60% of it, too, is based off of earlier work on the film that's actually not going to play out that way when we actually go see it in theaters. Um, but there's two novelizations here that were announced. Rise of the Beast, The Search is On, and then Mission at the Museum. And then uh, we've got some spoilers here. There's spoilers, so if you want to click off the video, bye-bye. But if you want to stay and indulge in these spoilers with me, just sit back and watch and uh, listen to me read this. And uh, where is the where is it here? Okay, rival factions of Transformers bots race against each other in this action-packed 8x8 storybook. The Transformers bots travel to Peru to find a very powerful and ancient artifact. Can the Autobots find it before Scourge and keep the Decepticons from using it to take control of Earth? And then uh, it says here, combining the heart of Bumblebee with the action and spectacle that, that the first captured moviegoers around the world in, in the original 2007 film, Transformers Rise of the Beast will take audiences on a new 90s globe charting adventure and introduce the Maximals. In okay, so it's basically that last part is everything we already know. But this part here is interesting. Um, they go to Peru to find a powerful and ancient artifact. Uh, some people were joking that if you take the Peru part out, it's basically the plot for uh, the five other Michael Bay films besides uh, Bumblebee. Which, I mean, yeah, that's true, but, I mean, that's not really a bad critique, considering that's 
like most of what Transformers is, is like finding artifacts and um, going around the galaxy or around Earth or something like that. So, I mean, that's not really too big of a deal for me, but there are other stories they could do that don't involve finding a MacGuffin, you know, so, but uh, it's, that's not too big of a deal for me. Uh, and then the interesting thing here is um, they mentioned the Decepticons. It says here, can the Autobots find it before Scourge and keep the Decepticons from using it to take control of Earth? So are they lumping Scourge in with the Decepticons or are they saying Scourge plus the Decepticons <clears throat> as like two separate entities? Um, I don't know, your guess is as good as mine, but maybe... Whoever was doing the research on this maybe got their info wrong and thought Scourge was his G1 self. Who knows? And then the second book here, the release date for these are May 16th. So th these are a few weeks before the movie drops. So we're going to be getting some spoilers with these junior novelizations as we have prior to the other films. So that'll be interesting when that comes in a few months. Uh, so the next uh, description for the next book here, we have a researcher at the Ellis Island National Museum of Immigration is running tests on an ancient falcon statue when it crumbles, revealing an ancient artifact hidden, hidden inside. Noah and the Transformers bots go on a brave mission to keep the artifact safe, but Scourge and his sweeps have other ideas. First up, that museum name is a, is a mouthful. Jesus. Uh, but then the other interesting part here is that Scourge and his sweeps. Now, obviously, this could not be making it into the actual movie, but the fact that they mentioned his sweeps is very interesting uh, because there are those freezer robots that we saw the core class figure of a couple of days ago, and then we saw them in the teaser trailer. So maybe those are his sweeps, or they're referring to Nightbird and Battletrap, and maybe there's some other characters that we don't even know about yet that are going to be Terracons. So, but that's pretty interesting. I mean, we have Decepticons name dropped, and we have sweeps name dropped in these two descriptions. So who knows? Maybe they're keeping a lot of stuff from us with this movie still. I mean, we're still quite a few months out, five, four and a half months away. So your guess is as good as mine on how true these are going to be. But like I said earlier, these are based off of earlier versions of the film. So don't take everything one to one just yet. But um, yeah, guys, let me know how you feel about those CG renders. And let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel about these descriptions for these books? Does this give you more hope for what the potential plot of the movie will be? And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of this video.